First, you swallow these two things in the morning. These two things can do a miracle to your life. It's a great cleanser and also it takes away the cellular inflammation. If you reverse this, you will see your day will easily last for twenty hours a day, very effortlessly. <laughs> to start my day to enjoy this <laughs> breakfast with you, which looks very, very intriguing. <laughs> Is this how you start your day? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the most important thing when we eat food is that we must understand food uh, is what builds our body on one level. On another level, it is uh, the, the main part of our fuel to run the day. Yeah. When I say main part of the fuel, there are other aspects of water, air, sunlight. So the entire aspect of eating food is to balance it as to which is more in your life. If you eat certain types of food, seventy percent of your energy requirement is coming from the food that you eat. That means definitely you will sleep for six to eight hours a day. Right, okay. That means your downtime is one third of your life <laughs> <laughs> One third of your life is gone without you knowing what happened. So, uh, if you change the patterns of eating and there are other aspects also, there is a yogic aspect to it. But if you change, if you eat like this, you will see the volume of food that you need will come down significantly. You, you don't have to uh, restrain yourself just to this, what is there. But after that, if you eat also, the volume of food that you eat will come down right. and your ability to get more energy from sunlight, air and water will increase. Right now, for… as I said, for most people, seventy percent is from the food. If you reverse this, that thirty to forty percent is from the food, rest is from the other three, then you will see your day will easily last for twenty hours a day, very effortlessly. And you will live more, that's what it means. <laughs> because everybody is thinking of living for more years. But is it not important that you live for more hours per day? Per day, that's true, absolutely. But is this it or is there going to be… is this… is there more to your breakfast? Well, there will be usually uh, another pomegranate fruit. Okay. And uh, if I'm going to be very physically active, let's say I'm going to play a round of golf, because yeah. eighteen holes I walk, I don't ride carts and things like that. Oh, okay. So then maybe I will add some carb to it, maybe an, uh, an idli or a chapati or okay. something else, either wheat, rice or millet, hmm. any of these things we add so that there is enough carb for the physical activity. Right. But if I'm just going into more mental activity and uh, physically I'm not moving around too much, I'm sitting, this is it and maybe I'll drink a, a glass of something. Usually we have certain very liquidy millet porridges and stuff like that, okay. which, uh, you, which you can drink like coffee. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's liquid. Right. So, so, I can see these interesting things laid out. If you can explain <laughs> the significance of these and very interesting, these yellow and green balls. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> uh, one is a freshly ground neem ball, neem leaf ball. Another is okay. a turmeric ball. Okay. Turmeric we grow around here itself, which is absolutely organic in very rich lands. And neem, of course, it comes from the trees. These two things can do a miracle to your life. First, you swallow these two things in the morning. Wait for ten, fifteen minutes so that it spreads. Because these two will bring down the inflammatory levels in your stomach lining and also cleans up all the unnecessary bacteria that may be there. In case of any parasite, all that it'll be taken care of. And uh, also, it brings a… it'll bring a certain glow to you. Don't ask me why I'm not glowing <laughs> uh, <laughs> You are always <laughs> So, I've not eaten anything. You're supposed to have this empty stomach? This yes, yes. Yeah? Empty stomach and some amount of water, not too much water, okay. so that it has enough water to spread. Okay. Now, right now what they kept is room temperature, yeah. but uh, at home when you do it, you drink tepid water, not hot water, just okay. Just mild. one, one of each, is it? You can take uh, all the four. 
Yeah. Any warnings you want to give me? Neem is usually very bitter. No, no, you swallow it like a pill. That's not neem anyway, that's turmeric <laughs> <laughs> Going a bit slow, <laughs> just so, swallow, not with water. With water you can swallow, like a tablet. Okay, now neem. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm gonna have this. It's bitter of Sadhguru. Then uh, see, this is a way of acclimatizing yourself to life. Not bad. <laughs> Once you eat something so bitter, whole day whatever people do to you, you feel it's fantastic <laughs> That's a good trick <laughs> What else? I can also see there are some dry fruits This is a… this is sprouted methi, <laughs> which is very important to bring cellular cleansing in the body. Mm -hmm. So you must chew this well till it becomes proper paste okay. in your mouth and then swallow it. Mm -hmm. And this is soaked groundnut, soaked for over six to eight hours. Okay. So, this soaking is very important and uh, this is very high quality protein because these are organically grown groundnuts. See, the… Uh, what do you say, the hybrid or even <laughs> modified things will be this, this big nuts, they are not the thing to eat. These are original the way they are, the way they should be. Okay. So, this will take care of that, your protein also. And there are many other enzymes in it which are very, very vital. There was a time when for months I just lived on just groundnut and one banana. For the entire day? The entire day. It, it has all the nourishment you need. And this is of course almonds, uh, this is a little… This is uh, for my international travel okay. because this is not a local thing here. Almond is not a local thing. They are growing but uh, not very popular. That's a… again a walnut which is, you know, the benefits of the nuts, yes. uh, it matches with you, you know. Why does it match with me? Because it's nuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is sprout… sprouted green gram, which is a very high protein again, okay. and the green part of it is very important. Okay. And it's very important, the almond is soaked and this is peeled. Because these kind of nuts have their own mechanism of self-defense. The moment you soak it in water, now uh, the seed believes that it's going to be planted. Mm. We're going to disappoint him, but mm. it believes that it's going to be planted and he's going to sprout and become a big tree and he's got his own dreams. Right. So when you sprout, what he does is, there is a certain carcinogenic chemical within the uh, nut, hmm. which comes to the surface, just beneath the skin. Okay. So that insects will not eat him up, worms and insects will not attack at that time. So you soak it to give him a feeling that he's going to grow and then peel it off, then you will see that carcinogenic is gone. Otherwise, when you eat uh, an almond, you are eating that carcinogenic part without knowing that you're consuming it. Oh, that's insightful, I didn't know about this. And just to talk, I, I got to wait for ten minutes before I have all of this, right? No, no, you can try. I can, okay. I will, as we as we speak, I'll probably begin with the almond. <laughs> You're not eating the methi. I will. That I is will. bitter too. <laughs> oh, is it? And it's very okay. good. Okay, I will try. It's a great cleanser and also it takes away the cellular inflammation. Yeah. It's very important. Are there any foods that one must avoid eating? Alu paratha, <laughs> chola batura. <laughs> what is that? Uh, sabudana. Mm. <laughs> Butter chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.